What's going on guys, it's Fly Stewie and today we're going over how to beat Double Aqua. This is gonna be a little beginner tutorial for a lot of you guys starting out in the game and you just wanna learn some cards and maybe you're in a lower MMR or higher MMR but I think this video can help everyone. So on the left is my Scholar's team. He's using a beast, a little bit of extra speed, not the 41, the 43 and a 59 morale to do some damage. Egg Bomb for a little bit of outplays and hair dagger to get a little bit of extra card draw, but realistically, axes are so fast now, you're not gonna get it off too much, but it is such a high damage card. Please don't nerf it, Sky Mavis. It, it's beautiful where it is, please don't nerf it. It's probably getting nerfed, but please, I'm begging you. <laughs> um, next axe that we have here is a double plant, of course. So this is one of the best axes in the game. 500 health, 31 speed, so max stats, and it has the numbing there. It's so beautiful. And this axi here, Aqua Stock to get the energy, this to get the energy, and then Spicy Surprise. So realistically, even though you have a beast at the back, you're kind of weak against Double Aqua. Whenever you're going up a Double Aqua team, if you have Water and Can, you are in a great position. Um, on this side here, we have a Front Plant, Spicy, one of the best cards in the game, Vegetable. Um, this is a somewhat typical midliner with the Tail Slap in the middle. And then we have the upstream Aqua here that can speed up in the end of the game to beat those birds. Um, so it's going to be a pretty scary game. And this is kind of different, but still same thing. They're not as fast as humanly possible, but they're still fast enough to give a lot of teams damage. So let's see what happens here. Um, let's see. We got Kyle left in the building. What is going on? Kyle left. I'm doing great. So <clears throat> when you're playing this team, even though he's double plant, he has the beast at the back. So it gives him a bit of a disadvantage, right? So in a game like this, it's kind of hard. You want to time out your your attack a little bit. And this guy is waiting for you to play water and can. So you kind of have to keep your, your plant as safe as possible. So let's see what he does here first. Um, so he actually skips on his first turn. And the reason is he doesn't have much plant cards. He has these two he here. If anything, he can might want to play the numbing to kind of give this guy some chill here in these first rounds, but let's see what happens. This is a pretty scary card in the beginning to try to just throw you off a bit. And now he's in trouble a little bit, right? The good news is he has two plants. So it does create a lot of stopping power. This guy's gonna have a lot of trouble getting through both of them. But let's see what he does next turn here. Now remember, this guy used essentially like all his energy to try to attack you and you have a clear energy advantage. Also, you don't mind if your beast dies early to the plant. Like the plant doesn't have that much hitting power, but if the plant manages to get you out of here, that would be actually a plus for you. You actually kind of want that. So let's see what he ends up doing here. Passing again. The reason he passes is he can't really take out the plant with any of these cards. And here we go. Now he has the combo he wants. He is going to go pedal to the metal all the way down the floor. And this guy is a goner. See Natra, Frankie later. It's game. Hey, Jelly Bird, what is going on? We got Jelly Bird in the building, guys. Kyle F says, I don't like numbing. I used to have AAP and it hit so hard against me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, I used to have a Terminator, one numbing, and it's game over, right? <laughs> and it stinks because nerfing Terminator kind of nerfed the numbing plant a little bit. Because without so much Terminators, there's like no need for numbing. But, And you can see it right here. Beautiful uses of moves. He numbed this guy. And now this guy, all attacking moves, completely done, completely wide open. And remember, this guy's a plant, so what is going to happen here, guys? He is going to go for maximum damage, right? So this guy has four energy next round. Um, A little bit overkill. Like, you didn't need to use this mint. That's the only thing I'll say there. Because right now, you're going to be really low on cards, and you have to survive a four-card att attack from him. Um, If they do enough damage, you're going to heal back from Ziggy. And this guy doesn't have enough damage to, to kill you by himself. And you can see here, look at the bottom here, right? When you get rid of that guy, it gets rid of a lot of his cards. 
And now you're in a situation where you have to survive this if you want to win, right? So having that mint would have really helped here. And now you're in a very tricky situation. <clears throat> now, the good news is if you survive this and he doesn't have risky fish, so we can't do a lot of plant damage. If you survive this, you are in a phenomenal place to win here. And now he has one ranged move. So you just need to survive this. And look at that. He wins the game. So what is he going to do here? Eggshell. Eggshell. I would say eggshell. Um, hmm. Eggshell, nutcracker, nutcracker, Ronin's probably your strongest combo you have. But let's see what he does. Yep. Exactly that. But can this take him out is the million dollar question. You got one shot to win. Don't fail me not. And just like that, you win here. So guys, what did we learn here? And as he poses very sickly on him. Guys, what did we really learn here? Even though he had the beast at the back, going against double aqua with two plants, you are in a great position if you play your cards right. Notice how he was very patient in round one and two. A lot of newer players, and again, this guy's around 2000 MMR, a lot of newer players are very impatient in the beginning and they'll kind of rush their cards um, and use their energy when they don't need to. He, a lot of times using a back door, a back lane beast, he waited till he had his combo ready and then he attacked as strong and as hard as he really could. So those are some things that really helped him out, really got him to win, and even though this double aqua team could have been very messy, very scary to go against. He was able to get uh, beat him and a beast took down an aqua. That's not something you see every day. If you like videos like this where I break down the best cards in the game, the best metas in the game and really help beginners as well as advanced players around 2K MMR, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. We'll keep cranking these videos out. It's been your boy Fly Stewie and we Flight Crew, what do we gotta do? What do we gotta do Flight Crew? We'll see you next time. Peace!